Hi guys. So in my last video, we have learned the pressure in solids. So as you know already, I will recall the formula. The pressure in solid is given by the E that is equal to F over A. So that is the formula related with the solids. Now what about the liquid? So the pressure in liquid. So the learning objective which you already know that are given in the syllabus that the quantitatively how the pressure beneath the liquid surface changes so this changes is related with the the depth the density and the type of the liquid which we will use and uh, similarly the other thing which we will learn that the pressure in the liquid is represented by p that is equal to rho gh so from this formula the liquid pressure depend on three factors number one it depend on the density of the liquid so as you can see in this table the first factor on which the pressure of the liquid depend so you can see that over here the mercury the mercury has the highest value of the density which is 30550 kilogram over meter cube while the water the water has the density of 1000 and the methyl, methyl spirit that has the density which is the least so it means that in all of these liquid the mercury will give you the greatest pressure so this one is the greatest so greatest pressure while because we will use these two liquids majority of the time in this chapter so it will give the pressure less than less than mercury the reason what is the reason due to the change in the density the second thing is the value of the gravitational field strength on which the pressure of the liquid depend so if the value of the g is less the pressure will be less and if the value of the g is more the pressure will be more the third factor on which the pressure of the liquid depend is the depth of the liquid now i i want to tell you one thing very clearly now what is meant by the depth of the liquid so depth of the liquid means that we will consider a container and then now this is the container which has the less depth while similarly on the other side if i will draw the same dimension of the liquid and then if i will mark the liquid level up to this point so now there is less depth in this liquid the and there is more depth of the liquid in the same container so the diagram a it will give you the less pressure while the diagram b will give you the more pressure so if the depth of the liquid is more then it will exert more pressure at the bottom of the container and if the depth is less then it will give you the less pressure as you can see in this diagram that the pressure at the point a is less while the pressure at point b is furthermore while at point c is the pressure is the greater so you can see that the thrust of the water is very less at point a while when we will go more deeper into the container then it will give you the more thrust while now this point c which is at a very large distance at a very large depth depth is always taken from the top of the container so it will give you the more thrust it means that more pressure now in the past paper this question has been asked in the past paper that why the pressure increases by increasing the depth of the liquid normally student will write out the answer that the pressure of the liquid increases by increasing the depth no this is not the answer so what will be the answer that when the depth increases then the mass of the water increase certainly if you will talk about this so at this point only the small quantity of water is available 
but as soon as we will go into the depth the mass of the water increases and we already already know that w is equal to m g so if more mass it means that there will be more weight and more weight mean more force because weight is a force so more force mean that there will be more pressure so this is the answer of the question which has been asked in the past paper the next one is the pressure depends on the depth not the shape you you can see that the, there are the three four different diagram diagram number a diagram number b cylinder a conical and this one is a irregular shape but the main thing is that all they contain same level of the liquid so if the liquid level is same so irrespective of the shape the pressure in all container will remain same and similarly if we will talk about the two test tube the test tube a which they have mentioned at this point and then the test tube b which is on the right side but that is a tilted one but on the other side if you will see that the column height the depth of the liquid is same so it means that the pressure will be same the pressure will be same now another important question in which the students normally do a mistake let's consider a container so this one is the container and uh, an object is placed on the top surface of the container while another object is placed at the bottom of the container the height of the container is 20 meter while the density of the water is given 1000 kilogram over meter cube now at the top of the surface there is only one pressure acting and that pressure is the atmospheric pressure no need to learn the value of the pressure because it will be given in the question it is 1.0 into 10 raised power 5 now different question can be asked related with this particular diagram so if we will talk about this diagram so there are three different questions which can be asked from this so if we will talk about only this one this portion so there is only atmospheric pressure so what will be the answer of this question if he will ask me what is the pressure at point b so there is an atmospheric pressure so this is 1.0 into 10 is for 5. now if he will talk about that what is the pressure only at the depth of 20 meter now that is a liquid so we will use the formula p that is equal to rho g h so which is given by at this point so pressure at depth a is given by this formula we will substitute the value 1000 multiplied by 10 multiplied and then we will get this now now th th this is the point which you have to look very carefully in the exam if they will ask what is the total pressure at point a because there is a one pressure which is acting on the surface and the other pressure which is due to the depth of the liquid so if the question contains the total pressure at point a then what we have to do as i have done it already i have written the atmospheric pressure and i have add up the pressure which i have already calculated in part one over here so i will add up these two pressures and then i will get the answer the unit will be the pascal so this is how you will tackle this question thank you very much for watching this video